Good morning. Silverthorne Recreation Center is closed indefinitely for a possible case of COVID-19 tied to an employee. The town reports a rec center employee with possible exposure to the virus last worked in the pool area March 4th and last used gym equipment March 9th. The town is waiting results of a test, but closing all rec amenities until then for deep cleaning starting last night. Dr. Meg Austin at Summit Medical Center has info on how experts think the virus spreads. We don't know how long it may live on surfaces, but we don't have any evidence that it is spread via surfaces. Late last night, Summit County and local towns officially suspended municipal events of more than 50 people due to the virus, and they're encouraging private events to do the same. Dr. Austin. This is the time to do all your introverting. So hiking, reading, watching movies at home, great time to catch up on all of that. Eagle County Public Health went one further, banning all events, private and public, of more than 50 people, led by state-high 11 cases in the Vail Valley. This cancels hundreds of local events, including the Brewski Nordic Beer Festival in Frisco tomorrow and this weekend's Rocky Mountain Country Fest at Keystone. Class is still in session for Summit Public Schools following guidance from the state, closing 72 hours for one positive student or staff case, 14 days for two or more. For now, it is business as usual at all seven ski areas in Summit in Eagle County counties, the 50-person ban does not apply to lift lines. A 22-year-old Silverthorne man pleaded guilty this week to felony menacing for brandishing a gun in a fit of road rage. The Summit Daily reports Dakota Castillo got a three-year deferred sentence for that January incident, meaning he must apologize, get professional counseling, and stay out of trouble. He also cannot own a gun. Frisco veterinarian Margot Daly is a canine rehab practitioner, like a physical therapist for dogs. And last week, she was working with the best of the best in Alaska, Iditarod sled dogs. Most of it is lectures and just learning about what to expect and what's different with sled dog and trail medicine. Daly calls teams at the Iditarod canine endurance athletes, combating muscle strains, ligament tears, and even this. They actually have a pretty high rate of stomach ulcers. So what is the treatment? Getting these dogs on basically Pepsid and or Prilosec even before the race starts. Daly says active high country canines can also suffer the same ulcers with symptoms like diarrhea, vomiting, and fatigue. Avalanche danger is back to moderate today and changing through the day in the Summit Eagle County zone. Your problems are wind slab on north through southeast aspects at and above treeline and persistent slab on northeast through southeast aspects at and above. In sports, regular season play for the NBA and NHL is on hold as of yesterday due to the coronavirus, and the MLB has suspended spring training. Regular season baseball will most likely also be delayed, and the NCAA has canceled the March Madness tournament. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, Chassa has suspended all high school sports games, meets, and practices until April 6th due to the virus. In effect today, canceling the boys lacrosse game and all season openers this weekend. The Breckenridge Vipers have canceled tonight's home game with Pikes Peak. Coaches hope to be back next weekend for the two-game home finale with Denver Leafs. And in six degrees of celebrity birthdays, William H. Macy is 70 today, Emil Hirsch turns 35, Michaela Schifrin is 25, and Clayton Campbell, fiddle player for the Gibson Brothers. They're on Long Gone Live from 2015, turns 39 today. Phil Lindemann with your news from Dillon Ridge Family Dental on Crystal 93.